Well, it's a great privilege again to be here with you. 再次，真是我的荣幸能够跟大家在这里。I always try to get the pulpit as close as I can to the people. 我总喜欢把讲台挪移到老百姓当中。There's a reason for it. 有一个原因。Preaching is about making contact with people. 讲道是跟人有建立关系、接触。It's about communicating truth on a personal basis. 是把神的道带到一个一个更近的关系。But also, I learned to preach actually in the jungles and the mountains of Peru. 而且我学习讲道是在呃秘鲁的丛林里面。And most of the time, the people were right here. 大多数情况的老百姓就在我的四周围坐在旁边。And I kind of got used to it. 我我我已经习惯了。When someone didn't understand something, they would just pull on your sleeve like this. 当有他们不灵了解的时候，他们就拉我的衣服。It is a great privilege to be here. 真是很荣幸在这儿。And I hope to come back. 我希望再回来。And、uh, I know this church is is made up of primarily young people. 我知道这个教会大多数是新生代年轻人。But that's where my heart is. 我的心就在你们当中。Um. It's so crucial that you know Christ early in your life. 你在年轻的日子就认识他太重要。And it's so crucial that you learn to live as a disciple of Christ. 你年轻就做他的门徒太重要。And if you do that here in the United States, it will be costly. 如果你在美国要做基督门徒，你要付代价的。Also, if you're a parent here, 如果你是做父母的 ，and you're a Christian， 你是基督徒 ，be very, very careful， 要很小心，很小心 ，that you are not following the American dream， 你不要追随美国梦 ，because your children will follow in your footsteps， 因为你的儿女会照着你的脚踪行 ，which may lead to hell， 可能会把他们带到地狱去。It is to follow Christ， 是跟随基督。Now, for you men that are here, 你们这些男人 ，above everything else on this planet， 世界上几乎所有的事情 ，above ministry， 超越你的事工。I am a husband. 我是一个丈夫。My primary obligation is to disciple and care for my wife. 我最重要的工作是要训练我的太太。To be an ex To be an example, 我我要做一个榜样 ，and to love her as Christ loves the church. 我要爱我的妻子如同基督爱教会。That takes time. 那需要时间。My second obligation on this planet. 我第二个在世上的任务 ，is to take care of my children. 是照顾我的儿女。That takes priority over preaching. 比我讲道更重要。God has given them to me. 神把我的儿女赐给我。They are mine to teach. 我有责任教训教导他们。In our church back home, 在我们家呢教会 ，we do not have children's church. 我们没有儿童儿童教会。We do not have Sunday school. 也没有主日学。We do not have youth group. 也没有年轻人的小组。We have something that will seem very strange to you. 对你来说，可能你认为我们有的很奇奇怪。We have parents. Their primary obligation, 父母的最重大的责任 is to teach and train their children. 是教导养育儿女 To catechize their children, 让他们在神的道上得建立 To homeschool their children, 在学在家里头教育他们 Men are told that they should take a less paying job rather than one that pays more money but takes too much time. 呃。我们教导男人，你宁可少一点钱，呃、uh, ，how do you say？ It? <laughs> 呃，您可 in, in our church， 在我们教会 ，men may have to turn down a well-paying job。男人可能要拒绝薪水很高的工，工资很高的工作 ，because if they take that job， 因为如果他们接受那份工作。They will not be able to be the primary disciples of their children. 他们就不能够成为训练他们儿女的好的教教导者
It's not a matter of conscience. It's not a matter of the father is the primary disciple of his children. Now I know some of the things I've said is kind of radical. But read the scriptures. Read the scriptures. If you're bringing your child to church, you're not an obedient father. You're just delegating your responsibility to someone else. Your child should come to church. And your wife. But you are the primary disciple. Not the elder. And not a 21-year-old youth minister with moose in his hair. Let me say this. We have lost the, the idea of manhood is almost gone in our country. In order for young men to become men, 年轻人要成为人, 成为男人, they must have a man in their life. It's called a father. His primary obligation is to train them from the time they are born until they leave the home. It's not the job of the football coach. 不是那个美国足球的 教练的工作, 培, 培育男人, it's the father's job. Many times the church has done more damage to the family than good. Because we allow parents to delegate their responsibilities to Sunday school teachers. Men, 男人, there's also been a loss of womanhood. 不仅仅是失落, 男, 男子汉的气概, you say, well, that, that's the mother's responsibility. No. 不, I'm as important in my daughter's life as in my boy's life. 我身为爸爸, 在我儿子的生命中的地位, She's going to learn how a man ought to treat her. By the way her father treats her. By the way her father treats her mother. As a matter of fact, the next time I come back, I may ought to teach on the family. Now our youth in our church, they get together. And there's nothing wrong with that. 没错, 啊, 没错. But guess what? 但, 你猜, 什么事儿? When their father and mother are their best friends, 亲近的朋友的时候, they usually want them to come along too. 他们也会要爸爸, the whole idea of generation gap. 这个代沟的这个概念, it's a lie. 是个谎言, it's just a lie. 是个大谎言, just like adolescence, it's a lie. 就像有这个, 呃, 过度年轻期也是个谎言, now, young people, 现在年轻人, if you follow the contemporary Western church, 西方的教会的风俗, you are not going to be following Jesus Christ. The church is full of worldliness. Carnality. And much of what is called the church is not a church at all. You must become disciples of Christ. Living for His kingdom. Walking in the simplicity of Christ. 
活在基督的那单纯的信仰中。Judging everything by His Word， 用他的话语来评估任何的事物。And not by Western culture， 不是用西方的文化传统来评估。Parents， you have got a battle on your hands。父母亲，你有一场很大的征战。Especially if you send your children to school, the public school. 你把你的儿女送到公立学校去的时候 ，because there they are going to be taught everything that you do not believe if you are a Christian. 如果你是个基督徒，你的儿女在公立学校会会教导、会学习很多你不信的东西。By the time a child leaves a typical evangelical home, 当一个孩子离开一个一个典型的。福音派的家庭的时候 ，They've had somewhere around fifteen thousand hours of of training in secular thought. 他们有一万五千个钟头嘛，差不多在世界里头打滚，在学校里头已经吸收了那么多东西。Thousands of hours of training through media like television and video games. 借着那些电脑游戏跟媒体电视，已经受到这些污染，他们的训练。熏陶 ，and usually within the home， 通常在家里面 ，less than a thousand hours of training， 少于一千个钟头在家里面圣经的教训和教导。Thousand hours is very generous。这个一千个钟头我已经很很宽大了啊。Most most evangelical fathers never have。Bible studies with their own children. 大多数的福音派的基督徒的父母亲从来不跟儿女一起查考圣经的。Your children are going to become westernized. 你的儿女会变成西化的儿女。And it will not be good. 这是不是不是件好事 ？They must be Christianized. 他们必须成为基督化。And do not follow the lead of the Western Church. 不要跟随西方教会的风俗。Because you can see what kind of state it's in. 你可以看到西方教会现在是什么堕落的光景。Now these are hard words. 我知道这些话很严严厉。But it kills me. 但是叫我叫我难受。Especially when I see people immigrate to this country. 尤其我看到很多民族都移民到美国来。And watch their Christianity. 你看看他们的基督教是如何的走下坡路，他们的信仰。Persecution and poverty never hurt the church. 贫穷和逼迫。对教会没有损害 ，but prosperity and ease of life， 但是兴旺和富足 ，and a syncretism with secular thought， 和世界同化，世界的思想同流合污 ，is what destroys the church， 会毁掉教会。Well. If we ever come back and do a series on the family, we'll talk about that. 如果有机会回来教导有关家庭的事情，我会继续多讲一点。Go to Romans three. 好，我们回到罗马书第三章。We started in verse twenty-three. 我们二三节开始的。We talked about the universality of sin. 我们讲到罪的普遍性。And the radical depravity of man. 也讲到人的全然的堕落。Let me add this to our summary. 哦，在我的总结再加一些一些一句话。The Bible teaches that the heart of man is so radically depraved. 圣经教导人的心是如此彻底的堕落了。That even the most vile persons in history, 甚至历史上最糟糕的人 ，have been restrained by the grace of God. 都被神的恩典所限制，所所控制。Every unconverted person in this world, 这世界上每一个没有信主的人 ，would make Hitler look like a very good little boy. 会叫希特勒看起来像一个乖宝宝一样。If it wasn't for the restraining grace of God, 若非神的约束的恩典在他身上 ，God restrains the evil of all men. 神限制人类所有的邪恶。So that society might continue, 好叫这个社会能够继续生存下去。And he might do a work of redemption, 好叫他能够在人心中做救赎的工作。But there are times in history when there are intervals in which that grace ceases. 但是在人类历史当中有一些片段，神的恩典
挪开了。Judgment of the Tower of Babel. 譬如，神对那巴别塔的审判。Sodom and Gomorrah. 还有对索多玛、俄摩拉的审判。The de- the flood. 还有大洪水的审判。In cultures. 在不同的文化当中，民族。The reason why I'm bringing this up, we discussed it in the question and answer time. 呃，我之所以把它提出来，因为我们刚刚在后面问答的时候，我们提出。In the Western culture, for example. 在西方文化，譬如。Many people have a wrong idea. 很多人有一些错误的概念。They think that because of all the present sin we see in our culture, God is going to judge America. Because we see that in our culture, there are many sins, so God will judge this culture. That's not the way it works. It's not the way it works. That's not the way it works. It's 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 not the way it works. We have all the sin now in our culture because God has already judged us. We have all the sin now in our culture because God has already judged us. We have all the sin now in our culture because God has already judged us. We have all the sin now in our culture because God has already judged us. We have all the sin now in our culture because God has already judged us. We have all the sin now in our culture because God has already judged us. We have all the sin now in our culture because God has already judged us. We have all the sin now in our culture because God has already judged us. We have all the sin now in our culture because God has already judged us. We have all the sin now in our culture because God has already judged us. We have all the sin now in our culture because God has already judged us. We have all the sin now in our culture because God has already judged us. We have all the sin now in our culture because God has already judged us. We have all the sin now in our culture because God has already judged us. We have all the sin now in our culture because God has already judged us. We have 他们虽然知道神，却不荣耀他，也不感谢他。When a society turns from honoring God, 当一个社会不再荣耀神 ，which is its greatest defense， 这是这个对社会最大的保护。God withdraws His grace and turns them over. 神就把他的恩典挪移，而放平，任凭他们去行。We see throughout that passage, God turns them over. God turns them over. We see throughout that passage, God turns them over. God turns them over. And so all the sin that we see so rampant here in America. So we see that all the sin that we see so rampant here in America. Is not going to result in our judgment. These sins will not result in our judgment. It is the result of already being judged. These sins are themselves the result of God having already judged our people. All have sinned. And that sin is a horrifying reality. That sin is a horrifying reality. And all have fallen short of the glory of God. And all have fallen short of the glory of God. And all have fallen short of the glory of God. And all have fallen short of the glory of God. And all have fallen short of the glory of God. And all have fallen short of the glory of God. And all have fallen short of the glory of God. And all have fallen short of the glory of God. And all have fallen short of the glory of God. And all have fallen short of the glory of God. And all have fallen short of the glory of God. And all have fallen short of the glory of God. And all have fallen short of the glory of God. And all have fallen short of the glory of God. And all have fallen short of the glory of God. And all have fallen short of the glory of God. And all have fallen short of the glory of God. And all have fallen short of the glory of God. And all have fallen short of the glory of God. And all have fallen short of the glory of God. And all have fallen short of the glory of God. And all have fallen short of the glory of God. And all have fallen short of the glory of God. And all Of our culture, 而且这个文化最大的罪 is that we live for self. 就是我们自私自利，为自己生活 And we turn everything toward us. 我们把所有的事情都围绕着自己，我我我 Even American Christianity is humanistic. 甚至美国的基督教都是人本的 For example, this passage. 譬如这段经文 Fallen short of the glory of God. 会缺神的荣耀 In most evangelistic tracts. 在大多数的这些传福音的单章里头 ，How do they begin？ 他们怎么开始的 ？God loves you， 神爱你 ，and has a wonderful plan for your life。神对你的生命有一个美好的计划。That's not what this passage is teaching。这段经文不是这么教导的。The primary thought here is that God made you。最主要的思想这里是神创造了你。And his plan for you, 他对你的计划是 is that you give your entire life to him. 你把你整个生命都交托给他 See how we turn it around? 你看我们怎么把是非颠倒了 Imagine a self-centered person. 你你想想一个自我中心的人 And you walk up to them. 你你走到他们面前 And you say, God loves you and has a wonderful plan for your life. 说神爱你，对你有个美好的计划 And the guy goes, Really? 那个人说，哦，真的吗？嗯。God loves me. 神爱我。Hey, that's great. 啊，太好了。I love me too. 我也爱我自己啊。He has a wonderful plan for my life. 他对我的生命有个美好的计划。啊 ，I've got a wonderful plan for my life. 对我生命也有个美好的计划。If I accept this God, He's going to help me with my wonderful plans. 如果我我我接受这个主，他会帮助我实现我的计划。Oh, I want a God like that. 我要这样一位神，那太好了。Satire can be harmful, but it is necessary sometimes. 我知道讽刺挖苦有时候不好，那有时候能够把事情表明。
I'm warning you. Of what could be ahead for you. If you do not hold fast to Scripture, and to historic Christianity, and not American Christianity. Now we, we've gone through this passage and we, we got to verse 24. That we are justified as a gift. Uh, justification is a legal declaration. It's when God legally declares a sinner to be right with him. We spoke about how that's a gift. As a matter of fact, it comes to a man without cause. That's the meaning of this term as a gift. The scripture says they hated Jesus without a cause. Jesus never gave anyone a cause to hate him. In the same way, no man ever gave God a cause to justify him. We provided God with every reason in the world to condemn us. But he justifies not by virtue of our own works, but by virtue of the person and work of Christ. We finished by talking about redemption. That Christ purchased us with his death. That the payment was made not to the devil. But in a sense to God. Because of our sin, God's wrath was turned against us. God's justice demanded satisfaction. Christ satisfied the justice of God by paying the penalty of our sin with his life. Then we, we were coming to a close in the last hour with the phrase, in Christ Jesus. And I, and I talked about a young man who came up to me after a sermon. And he said, you're right, Brother Paul, Jesus is all we need. And I said, young man, Jesus is all we have. Outside of Jesus Christ, there is only condemnation and death. But in Christ, we have every spiritual blessing in the heavenlies. Remember, I said spiritual blessing. Eternal blessing. That are always centered upon a relationship with God. We are going to go on now to talk about probably, well, many theologians have said this is the most important text in the entire Bible. Okay. We're going to look at it now. And we're going to understand the core of the gospel. Maybe you will walk out of here tonight realizing you've never really understood the gospel before. Verse 25, speaking of Christ, whom God displayed publicly as a propitiation in his blood through faith. Now, 
Now God displayed him publicly. 神设立基督，公开的设立他。This is talking about a Roman crucifixion. 这里讲的是一个罗马的十字架。When you drive down the road in L.A., you see billboards everywhere. 当你在 L.A. 在高速公路上开车的时候，你会看到两旁会有一些广告牌。That's the idea we have before us. 这就是我们看到设立的意思。God placed Christ on a cross. 神把基督。放在一个十字架上。At the very center of the religious universe， 在当时宗教世界的中心。For everyone to see， 好叫每一个人都可以看到。This is very important， 这是很重要的。God could have put away sin in a very hidden place， 神可以把罪偷偷摸摸的给除掉。But he chose the most public place. 但是他选择了一个最公开的场合。And he chose the most heinous torture. 他选择了一个最残酷的刑罚的方法。The Roman cross. 就是罗马的十字架。The reason for that. 这个理由是呢 ？Is the word revelation. 就是启示、显明。God is not only reconciling the world to Himself. 神不仅仅要世人与他和好 ，but He is revealing very important things about Himself in the cross. 而且借着十字架，他也显明他自己很重要的性格。We have heard that the cross of Jesus justifies man. 我们刚刚讲了十字架使人称义。But it is also true that, in a way, the cross of Christ justifies God. But from another perspective, the cross makes God justified. A better word would be it vindicates God. A better word would be it vindicates God. A better word would be it vindicates God. Up until the point of the cross, there were great, great questions about God's justice. 直到十字架成就了基督成就，很多人对神的公义。都有怀疑。We can even say there were accusations against God. 我们可以甚至说有人控告上帝。Because of his dealings with men throughout history. 因为他在历史历代如何对待人的方法，人。The cross is going to silence all those accusations. 但是十字架会把人对上帝的误解跟控告全部都止息掉。God displayed him. 神设立基督 ，as a propitiation， 做挽回祭。Now I do not know the word you use in Chinese。我不知道你在中文用的是什么字啊，挽回祭。But I hope it's a good one。我希望是个好字儿，也是 good word。Because this may be the most important word in the New Testament。因为这可能是新约整本新约圣经最重要的一个字儿。Now here's something that's amazing。这这是一个很叫人惊异的事。Theologians will tell you that propitiation is probably the most important word in the entire New Testament. 神学家会告诉你这个字“挽回祭”是整本新约圣经最重要的字儿。Yet, if I walked up to most evangelical Christians, 但是我如果到一个任何大多数的福音派基督徒面前 ，they wouldn't be able to tell me what it means. 我问他什么意思，他不知道答案。挽回祭。That's tragic. 这是非常叫人痛心的。This word reveals to us what's going on in the cross. 特别这个挽回祭这个字，把十字架显明出来了，意思显明出来了。Now propitiation. 好，挽回祭 is a translation of a Greek term. 是希腊文的一个翻译的字。But the word itself, propitiation. 这个字挽回祭本身 is Latin based. 是拉丁字根的。And it was chosen for a specific purpose. 选这个字是有个特别的目的的。In Latin, we have a word propitio. 在拉丁，我们有个字叫 propitio. And it refers to mercy. 这个意思就是怜悯。A propitiation is a sacrifice. 所以一个挽回祭是一个献祭。Which enables a righteous God to demonstrate mercy to the sinner. 好叫一位公义的上帝可以向罪人施怜悯。Now this is extremely important. 这是非常非常重要的。Remember when we talked about the justice of God? 你记得我们讨讲到了神的公义啊。That God cannot simply ignore sin. 神不能够。
忽略忽略罪，就不看罪而已。He's good， 因为他是美善的。He must deal with sin， 所以他必须解决罪的问题。That's what the word propitiation is all about。这就是挽回祭这个字的意义、目的。Let's go to a passage。好，我们看一段经文。And I'll illustrate the problem in Proverbs. 好，我用箴言的一段圣经 seventeen. Go to chapter seventeen, verse fifteen. 十五节。箴言十七章十五节，我会把这个问题说明。Proverbs seventeen, fifteen. 十七章十五节。He who justifies the wicked and he who condemns the righteous, both of them alike, are an abomination to the Lord. 定恶人为义的，定义人为恶的，这都为耶和华所憎恶。Let's look at the first phrase. 你看这第一个段落啊。He who justifies the wicked is an abomination to the Lord. 定恶人为义的。这为耶和华所憎恶的。Does any of you see the problem? 哎，你们看到这问题没有 ？In the preceding verse in Romans， 前面我们看了罗马书那那些经节。What did we learn？ 我们学到什么 ？All men have sinned。所有人都犯了罪。All men are unrighteous。我们都不是义人。All men are wicked。我们都是罪人。Then what did we learn? Now we learned what. God justified the wicked. God justified the wicked. So 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 God the wicked. So God justified 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 the 这就是福音的关键所在。If you do not understand this， 如果你不明白这一点 ，you do not understand the gospel， 你就不明白福音了。The greatest problem in all the Bible， 圣经里头最大的难题 ，is this， 就是 ，if God is good， 如果神是美善的、美好的 ，if He is just， 如果他是公义的 ，He cannot。Forgive you. He cannot forgive you. And if he does, if he forgives you, then his goodness, his righteousness, his justice is thrown in question. It's open to accusation. Someone can accuse him. Now let's just look at that. Oh, we'll look at this. Let me use an illustration that I've used a thousand times. Let me use an illustration that I've used a thousand times. Let's say that you go home from here tonight. Oh, if you go home from here tonight, oh, if you go home from here tonight. And you find your family slaughtered on the floor. You 看到你全家人都被杀掉了。And the murderer is standing over your family. 那个凶手就站在那里。With blood on his hands. 两手沾满了鲜血。You you run across the room and you throw him to the ground. 你冲过去，你把他推倒地上。You tie him up. 你把他绑起来。You call the police. 叫警察来。They take him to the jail. And 把他带到监狱里 A few months later, he stands before the judge. 他站在一个审判官法官面前 The judge looks at the man who is guilty. 法官看到那个有罪的人 And he says this. 他说 I am a very loving and compassionate judge. 我是一个非常有爱心的法官，非常有慈爱的人 I am slow to anger and abounding in loving kindness. 我不轻易动怒，我充满了恩典和怜悯。I pardon you. 我赦免你。Go free. 走吧，自由了。How are you going to respond? 你会怎么回应呢 ？Are you going to say, "Oh, wasn't that wonderful?" 你会不会说，哦，真是慈爱，太好了。You are going to call the newspaper. 你会马上打电话给给给新闻记者。The six o'clock news. Uh, 早上六点钟那个新闻广广播 You're going to write the governor. 你会写信给给给给给你的省长 You're going to try to call the president. 你会甚至打电话给总统 You are going to say that there is a judge who is on the bench. 你会说，哎，有一个坐在审判座位上的法官 That is more wicked than the criminals he pardons. 比他所赦免的那个罪犯更要恶毒 Now the analogy holds. This analogy is very accurate. 
Here's the great problem. How can God forgive the wicked? And still be righteous. It's the divine dilemma. It's what the whole Bible is about. And yet, many of you have been in churches for years and you've never heard this. In order for men to be pardoned, 人要得到赦免, God's justice must be satisfied. His wrath must be appeased. Now let's look at those two things. 好, First of all, the justice of God. Remember what we talked about in the last session. Do you want a God who's apathetic towards sin? Who can make friends with the likes of Hitler? Who just sweeps it under the rug? No, you want a righteous God. But that puts you in great danger. One of the first things I taught here this morning was the, mo the most terrifying news to man is this. God is good. You say, why is that terrifying? Because men are not good. So what is a good God supposed to do with a bunch of men who are not good? How does the judge of all the earth deal with those who have broken every law he has ever given? That's what the cross is about. Now let's deal for a moment with the wrath of God. If you have read the scriptures at all, you know that the wrath or anger of God is terrifying. The mountains melt. They are like water rolling down a hill. When the wrath of God appears, the seas dry up. And the great captains of the earth cry out for the mountains and rocks to fall upon them to hide them from the face of God. Many evangelists today, most of them out of America, one of the first things they will tell you when they get up to preach is this. God is not an angry God. They are either ignorant of the scriptures, or they are lying to you. Look over at Psalms for a moment. Chapter 7. Verse 11. It says, God is a righteous judge and a God who has indignation every day. Now, we need to explain some things. Why is he so angry? Because he's good. You say, what do you mean? Well, let me ask you a question. Let's say you pick up a newspaper. Uh, 譬如你, 你拿起一张报纸, 
And you discover that 15 years ago, a man kidnapped a little tiny baby. You 发现十五年前有一个人，他把一个小女孩给绑架了。And he has kept her almost starved to death in his basement for the last 15 years. 过去十五年，他几乎他放在自己的自己地下室里头，把那个小女孩、小婴孩、女孩几乎把她饿死掉。And he has abused and tortured her in an unspeakable way. 他而且虐待她，而且对她真是。无可名状的对他的虐待。And you read that. 你当你在报纸上读到这样的消息。And I walk up to you and I say, What are you reading? 我我说，我。And I walk up to you and say, What are you reading? 你在读什么？你在读什么？ And you say, "Oh, this story here about a guy who took a little girl." Oh, 我在看一个故事啊，有一个人把一个小女孩、小小女孩给绑架了。嗯。And then you say, 你说，嗯。You know, I don't know what they're making the big deal out of. 我不知道这有什么大不了的，干嘛那么大惊小怪 ？I mean, you know, people have their desires to do things. 你知道人就是有欲望吗？七情六欲都有吗？要干些事儿吗 ？I think they should just let the guy go. 我想他们应该把这个人给放了。At that moment, I'm going to calculate a few things about you. 那个时刻，我就要想想你了。I'm going to realize you're just as immoral as that man. 我我就认识到你跟报纸上这个人一样的不道德。If you have any sense of goodness in you， 如果你里头有任何良善的概念 ，any sense of righteousness， 任何公义的概念 ，you are going to burn with anger。你应该易怒填膺啊 ！Isn't it amazing？ 这这不是叫人惊讶吗？ We demand the right to burn with anger when we hear something like that. 当我们听到别人干一些坏事儿，我们我们有，我们有权利易怒填膺。But if a preacher gets up and says God's angry every day, we think he's wrong. 当但是当一个讲道人站在讲台上说神天天向恶人发怒，你说那不应该不应该发怒。My God's not that way. 我的神不是如此。My God never gets angry. 我的神从来不发怒的，不生气的。Then your God is ungodly. 那你的神就是不像神，不像。And your God is not the God of the Bible. 你的神就不是圣经里的神了。He's angry every day. 他天天生气吗 ？Because every day he watches the atrocities committed on this planet. 因为他天天看到。这个地球上人所犯的罪孽啊 ！Look what he says in verse twelve and thirteen. 我们再看看第十二节、十三节。If a man does not repent, he will sharpen his sword. He has bent his bow and made it ready. He has also prepared for himself deadly weapons. He makes his arrows fiery shafts. 若有人不回头，他的刀必磨快，弓必上弦，预备妥当了。他也预备杀人的器具。他所射的是火箭。Now think about this. 你好好想想。The proper interpretation of this text. 这段经文的正确的解释。God does not judge the wicked immediately. 神不立刻审判恶人。Many times it is for a very frightening purpose. 往往是为了一个很可可怕的理由原因。He doesn't move immediately against them. 他不立刻当场审判。Because he's sitting there sharpening his sword every day. 因为他天天在那儿磨他的弓，天天磨剑。Not only that, he is preparing for himself deadly weapons. 不但如此，他也为他自己准备了杀人的器械。Every day, it says in Romans chapter two. 在罗马书第二章，每一天。That the wicked are storing up wrath. For themselves. 那恶人在为自己积蓄神的愤怒，积蓄积蓄。Every day, God sharpens his sword. 天天神都在磨刀。Every day. 天天磨刀。Every day he's preparing their judgment. 天天准备那审判的日子，那杀人的器械。A court you, coming off of Psalms chapter two. 我们从诗篇第二篇看完了。Where it says that God laughs at the wicked. 那里讲到神在讥诮那些作恶的人。John Calvin said this. 呃，加加尔文说。The reason why God does not detach the wicked immediately. 神之所以没有立刻远离恶人。Is because this is his time of laughter. 因为这是他讥诮的时刻。Before he strikes them. 在他拳头下来之前，击敲他们的时刻。You hardly ever hear this in an American church. 你知道，在美国教会，你几乎听不到这些
It's biblical. It's the historical interpretation of the text. It filled the pulpits of the greatest preachers down through history. But it's no longer heard today. But it's true. But there's another reason why the destruction of the wicked is delayed. Oh, I want you to look at it this way. The wrath of God is burning against the wicked. And his hand is drawn back to strike them. But the mercy of God holds back his hand. With one hand, God's mercy holds back the wrath of God. And with another hand, God's mercy calls even the most wicked men. But one day both hands will be withdrawn. And the wrath of God will fall upon me. God loves all that is beautiful. All that is pure. All that is life. All that maintains the dignity of his creation. And he hates sin. He hates it because he's good. But not only does God hate sin, look at Psalms 5. Verse 5. The boastful shall not stand before your eyes. You hate all who do iniquity. 狂, 狂傲的人不能站立在你眼前。凡作孽的都是你所恨恶的. Many preachers will say this. 很多的传道人会那么说, God loves the sinner and hates the sin. 神爱罪人, that's not what the Bible says. Now you can say that. You can write it on the back of your Christian t-shirt if you want. But, but that's not what the text says. I'm sorry. It doesn't say here that God hates sin. It's he hates all those who make iniquity or do iniquity. 这里说, 凡作孽的, 犯罪的, now you say to me, but but John 3:16, it's in the Bible. 那约翰福音三章十六节在圣经里啊, yes it is. 是是, 没错, but so is Psalms 5:5. 但诗篇第五篇第五节也在圣经里啊, along with many other texts. 还有很多其他的经文啊, you can't just take one verse and, and forget about the other ones. We have a very distorted view of God. We are a perfect example of idolatry. We have fashioned a God in our own image. Someone says, you know, uh, my God doesn't hate anybody. 有人说, that may be true. 没错, but your God is not the God of the Bible. A lady said one time, she said, um, but God can't hate. 有一个女人说, I said, why? 我说, she says, because God is love. 她说, and I said, no, ma'am. 我说, God is love. 夫人, 神是爱, Therefore, he must hate. Do you love children? I do. 我爱孩子. I'd have a thousand of them if I could. 如果我可能的话, <laughs> children are a blessing from God. If you love children, 如果你爱孩子, 
you must hate abortion. Don't tell me you're neutral about abortion. Do you love African Americans? You must hate slavery. Don't tell me that you're neutral about slavery and you don't think it's that big a deal. Do you love the Jews? You must hate the Holocaust. God hates. It's not like our hatred. It's not self-centeredness. It's not jealousy. It is perfect righteousness burning against evil. And you say, well, Brother Paul, John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world. And the world is full of sinners. Yes. 没错, 没错. Psalms 5.5 5 says, God hates all those who do wrong. In the NIV, it says it that way. 在, uh, 诗篇第五篇第五节也说, so how do we reconcile this? 我们怎么样子使这两节圣经得到和解呢? 和谐呢? God's righteousness burns against the wicked. 神的公义 因着人的罪恶而愤怒 but his mercy holds his wrath in place. But if the sinner continues in his rebellion, and dies in his sin, he will feel the absolute hatred of God. Many people wrongly believe that heaven is heaven because God is there. That part's true. But they also believe hell is hell because God is not there. Again, that's a very popular thing to say. It's, it's not in the Bible. And it's not in Christian history. As a matter of fact, hell is hell because God is there. Their smoke goes up. The smoke of their torment ascends up in the presence of the Lamb. Hell is the perfect justice of God. You see, we want a good God. We want a righteous God. But I want you to look at it this way. He is a blazingly righteous God. He is... He is a perfectly good God. You and I are all tainted by our fallenness. Now, now, now just listen to me on this. We're all affected and dulled by our sin. But still, we burn with anger when we see the poor oppressed. We burn when children starve to death because of a wicked ruler. We have righteous indignation when even a friend lies to us. Now, if we being evil can feel these kinds of things, 
How does a righteous, a perfectly righteous God respond to them? 何况这一位完全公义圣洁的神，他会如何对待这些不义的事 ？This is what you must say. 这这就是你必须。The wrath of God is revealed every day. 神的愤怒天天向恶人显明。Let me give you an example. 让我给你一个例子。Hundreds of thousands of people die every day. 成千上万的人都死掉，天天都在死。Did you know that death is not natural? 你知道吗？在圣经里头，死亡不是正常现象。It was not placed within the created order. 这死亡不是在神所创造的次序里头的一个计划。It is supernatural and the result of the fall. 死亡是超自然的，是因着人堕落的结果。All of creation now groans under the curse. 所造之物都因着神的咒诅而叹息。And every day, hundreds of thousands of people are swept off into judgment. Into death and judgment. Now, why am I talking about this so much? 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 We have a wrong view. We have a wrong view of what it means for God to be loved. Of what it means for God to be loved. To be holy. 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 To A preacher I know once said this. 我认识的一个传道人有一次说 ，While he was preaching to a large audience, 当他跟一跟一群听道人讲道的时候，他说 ，That AIDS was a result of the judgment of God. AIDS 就是呃艾滋病是因着神的审判的结果。Now I'm not here to defend this statement at all. 哦，我现在不是在呃证明他说的是对的。But something very interesting happened after he said that. 那他说了这个话之后呢？有很很有趣的事儿发生了。A lady stood up in the congregation. 当中呢，也听到人当中有个人，有个女的站起来。And she said, "AIDS can't be the result of God's judgment." 她说 ，AIDS 不能是神审判的结果。And he said, "Why?" 那传道人说，为什么 ？She said, "Because little babies die of AIDS." 因为小婴孩也因着艾滋病而死。Pretty good answer. Hmm, 挺好的答案 Hmm, this is what the preacher said. 那是这个传道人就那么说了 How many little babies did God kill when He flooded the entire world in the day of Noah? 当挪亚的日子，当神用洪水审判天天下的时候，死了多少婴孩 These are dark things. 这是很黑暗可怕的事 But you can't just explain them away. 但你不能够不能够不管它 When judgment comes upon the earth, 当审判来到世界的时候 ，it'll be just that judgment. 就是这样的审判，不管你大小，男女老少。Our God is a consuming fire. 我们的神是火焰，烈火。It is a terrifying thing to fall into the hands of the living God. 落在永生神的手里是可怕的。The most amazing thing, and the reason why I said all of this. 这最叫人惊异的，我我要说这些话的原因是 ，If you do not understand the judgment and wrath of God, 如果你不明白神的愤怒和神的审判的话 ，you cannot understand the cross. 你就不能明白十字架的道理。Now we're going to go away from the dark side of this subject. 我们现在要呃离开这个黑暗的这一面啊，这个主题的黑暗。我们要看看在十字架中神所彰显的慈爱。Christ died as a propitiation. 基督为我们献上了一个献祭。Christ died as a propitiation. 基督被设立做挽回祭。What does that mean? 什么意思？挽回祭。He died to satisfy God's justice. 他死为了要满足神的公义。And to appease God's wrath, 要平息神的愤怒。Why did it have to be the Son of God? 为什么是神的儿子？必须是他来满足
Why did it have to be a man? Why did it have to be a man? It had to be a man who died. 必须是人死掉 Because the blood of bulls and goats will not take away the sins of men. 因为牛羊牲畜的血不能除去人的罪 Adam sinned and cast the whole world into fallenness. 亚当犯罪也把整个世界都拖到堕落罪恶当中 We all joined him. 我们都在亚当里面一起有份 Some, Someone from Adam's stock. Someone from Adam's flesh had to die. So, it 必须是从亚当的后裔、亚当的血肉子孙当中有人死。Had to be a man. 必须是一个人，亚当的后裔。But it also had to be God. 同时，他也必须是神。This one who died. 这个死的 ，was not only a man. 不仅是一个人。He was not only the Son of God. 他不仅是神子。But he was the eternal Son of God. He 更是永恒的神的儿子 God the Son, 神子，神父神子。好 First reason why it was necessary that the sacrifice also be divine deity. 好，第一个原因，为什么这个献祭的挽回祭必须是有神性的？ The book of Isaiah is clear. That God alone is Savior, and He shares that title with no one. 只有耶和华是救主，除他以外没有别的救主。It is God's prerogative to save. 是神的主权，拯救人是他的主权。He will not share his glory with another. 他不会把他的荣耀跟别人分享。And that's why the doctrine of the Jehovah Witnesses and others is such an abomination. 所以耶和华见证人他们的教导是如此的亵渎神。Because they are saying that God formed a creature. Because they are saying that God formed a creature. Because they are saying that God formed a creature. Because they are saying that God formed a creature. Because they are saying that God formed a creature. Because they are saying that God formed a creature. Because they are saying that God formed a creature. Because they are saying that God formed a creature. Because they are saying that God formed a creature. Because they are saying that God formed a creature. Because they are saying that God formed a creature. Because they are saying that God formed a creature. Because they are saying that God formed a creature. Because they are saying that God formed a creature. Because they are saying that God formed a creature. Because they are saying that God formed a creature. Because they are saying that God formed a creature. Because they are saying that God formed a creature. Because they are saying that God formed a creature. Because they are saying that God formed a creature. Because they are saying that God formed a creature. Because they are saying that God formed a creature. Because they are saying that God formed a creature. Because they are saying that God formed a creature. Because they are saying that God formed a creature. Because they are saying that God formed a creature. Because they are saying that God formed The love of God is seen in this. 神的爱在此写明。The very God who condemns the world in righteousness. 这一位神，他定世，因着他的公义，定世人有罪的神。Demonstrates his love toward the world. 把他的爱向世界彰显。By coming to earth. 他自己来到世上。Taking on the flesh of a man. And dying in the place of the guilty, 在有罪的人的地位上替他们而死。Another reason why this Christ had to be divine. 另外一个原因，为什么这个基督必须是有神性呢 ？The Scripture is clear: no one can withstand the wrath of God. 圣经很清楚，没有任何人能够忍受神的愤怒。The nations are like a drop in the bucket before Him. In God's eyes, the world is like a drop in the bucket before Him. The sea dries up before His wrath. In God's anger, the sea is like a drop in the bucket. Who but God could take upon Himself the wrath of God and rise again? Outside God, who can take upon Himself the wrath of God and rise again? A young man one time when I was speaking at a university. 当我有一次在大学里头讲到的时候，有个年轻人来。He was kind of mad at me. 他他生我的气。So he stood up in the question and answer time. 所以在问答的时候，他站起来。And he said, "I got a question for you." 我对你有个问题。嗯。How can one man, 一个人 ，suffer on the cross for a multitude of men? 在十字架上为众多的人而死。And suffer on the cross only a few hours. 而且就几个钟头受苦。And yet, pay for an eternity in hell. 为我们偿清了永永远远在地狱里的痛苦，怎么可能 ？I've never been so happy for someone to ask a question. 我从来没有那么高兴，人家问我这样的问题啊。I said, young man. 我说，年轻人呐。The reason why that one man, Jesus Christ. 为什么呢？一个人，耶稣基督。Could die on a cross. 可以在十字架上死。And save a multitude of men from an eternity in hell. 救他们永永远远脱离地狱的痛苦 is because he was worth more than all of them put together. 因为这一个人的价值超过世上所有的人都加起来的总值 When we speak about the perfect sacrifice of Christ. 
当我们讲到基督完美的献祭。We are not just speaking theologically of his sinless perfection. 我们不仅仅是讲讲神学，从神学角度他的无罪的完全而已。We are talking about his infinite worth. 我们更讲到他那无限的价值。His infinite worth. 他的无限的无价。Take everything in creation and put it on a scale. 你把世上所有的所造之物都放在天平的一边。Put Jesus Christ on the other side of the scale. 你把耶稣基督放在另一边。He outweighs it all. 耶稣的价值超越这一切。It was the value of his life. 是他的生命的价值。Being the impeccable Son of God, he is that unparalleled Son. He could pay for the sins of his people. He can pay for the sins of his people. Now, when he is on the cross, what happens? When he is on the cross, what happens? Several years ago, a film came out called *The Passion*. Uh, several years ago, a film came out called *The Passion*. Uh, several years ago, a film came out called *The Passion*. Uh, several years ago, a film came out called *The All kinds of emails because of that movie. 别人给我好多的信件，因着那封那那那个电影。About how it was theologically correct, incorrect. 告诉我那那个那个电影怎么样子，神学上错误了，不对了。It brought in Catholic mysticism. 嗯，他他把天主教的那些神秘主义都带进来了。And many of those accusations were true. 还有很多的控告，是是真的，没错啊。But I've watched the film. 那那我看过这个电影。And、um, It is、um, notable that you can see they were trying to show the sufferings of Christ. 是，这这是他们想尽办法要把耶稣怎么受苦表明出来啊，很好。But it is impossible to show the sufferings of Christ. 但是你不可能显明耶稣十字架所受的痛苦有多大。Because they were not merely or primarily physical in nature. 因为耶稣受的苦不仅仅是皮肉之苦啊。Well. After that film came out, 那那个电影出来之后呢 ？I heard a very famous preacher. 我听到一个很有名的传道人。Came on the radio. 他到呃这个广播电台上广播。And he said, "There's there's been a lot of、uh, talk about the passion." 嗯，所以很多人都在讲这个电影啊，《耶稣受难记》。So I want to explain to you exactly what happened when Jesus was on the cross. 所以我愿意跟你解释一下，耶稣死在十字架上发生了什么事。He spoke for a half an hour to forty minutes. 他讲了半个钟头或者四十分钟。About the physical sufferings of the crucifixion. 讲到耶稣在十字架上，他的肉体怎么受苦啊 ？Medical descriptions. 呃，讲到这个医学的怎么解角度来看 ？Things in history. 在历史的角度。And he totally failed to tell anyone what really happened on the cross. 但是他却没有告诉任何人在十字架真正发生的什么事。I was、uh, preaching in Europe several years ago. 几年前我在欧洲讲道。And I was in a Germanic、uh, seminary. Seminary, all the books were written in German. 我在一个德国德文的神学院里头，很多书都是德文的。And I was real tired, so I went into the library. 我好累了，我就跑到图书馆里头。I thought I'd look for a book to read. 我就找一本书来读读。Finally found one in English. 终于找到一本英文书。Was called the Cross of Christ. 叫做。基督的十字架。It wasn't the one that was written by John Stott. 那不是约翰·斯塔特那个有名的传道人写的啊，不是那本书。那本书不错啊。It was another one. 是另一本书。And I opened it up. 我打开来。And I started looking to find the main point. 你就找到那些主要的重点呐。This is what he said. 这是那个人说的，作者说。When Jesus was hanging on the cross and suffering, 当耶稣悬挂在十字架上受苦的时候 ，the Father looked down from heaven. 天父从天垂看 ，upon the suffering that was inflicted upon Jesus by the hands of men. 看到耶稣因着人的残酷所受的苦 ，and he counted that as payment for our sin. 他就把那个当作我们赎罪的代价。That's heresy. 这是。Did you know that? You know what? What he said was completely wrong. He said it was completely wrong. Do you know what the problem is? You know what the problem is? Christ had to die on a cross. Yes, Christ had to die on a cross. 
It had to be a bloody cross. 必须是一个流血的十字架。And the physical sufferings of Christ on that cross were absolutely necessary. 是他的皮肉之苦是非常必要的，绝对少不了的，没错。But our sins were not atoned for. 但是我们的罪不因此就得赎。By because of what the Romans did to Jesus. 不是因着罗马兵丁。在耶稣身上所做这些残酷的事情，我们的罪得赎，不是的。Our sins were atoned for. 我们的罪得赎。Because God crushed His only begotten Son on that cross. 因为神自己把他的爱子给压碎了，在十字架上。That is the very thing most evangelicals have never even heard. 这是大多数的福音派基督徒从来没有听说过的。They somehow think that through the Death of Jesus. They thought that through the death of Jesus, that what the Romans did to him was all it took to save us. 就就可以把我们拯救了 Listen to me. 听我说 First of all, 最重要的 Jesus is on the cross. 基督在十字架上 He cries out, "My God, My God, why have you forsaken me?" He cries out, "Father, Father, why have you forsaken me? Why have you forsaken me?" I've heard so many preachers say this. 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 I've heard so What did Jesus say? Jesus 怎么说 ？Why have you forsaken me? 你为什么离弃我呢 ？Abandoned me. 你抛弃了我。You see in those evangelical evangelistic tracts that we have. 你看我们那些福音单章啊。You see God on one side of the cliff, and it says God's holy. 呃，神在一边的悬崖那那里说到神是圣洁的。And man's on the other cliff, and it says man's a sinner. 人在另一边呢说人是有罪的。And sin is in between the two. 罪在两个悬崖当中，在峡谷里。God is separated from man. 人跟神分离了，隔绝了。Because of sin. 因着人的罪。Well, that's true. 没错啊，没有错。But in order to close that gap. 那但是要这个。这个深渊能够有一条桥架出来。Someone else had to bear our sin. 必须有另外一位担当我们的罪。And be separated from God. 他必须为我们与父隔绝。When Jesus is in the garden. 当耶稣在克西马尼园。Cried out three times, let this cup pass from me. 三次他祷告，父啊，让这个杯撤去吧。What was in the cup? This cup 里头是什么东西啊 ？I've heard people say that it was the cross. 有人说那是十字架。That it was, you know, Jesus could foresee the cat of nine tails being beat across his back. 耶稣可以看到那个九鸟九头鞭抽在他的背上，哇，好可怕 ！That Jesus could foresee the crown of thorns on his head. 耶稣可以预见。提前看到他头上那个荆棘冠冕。That Jesus was sweating drops of blood because of his fear to go to the cross. 他因着怕上十字架受那些苦，所以他才汗如汗流血血滴流在滴在地上。That, that's not true. 不是如此的。Let me give you an example before I tell you why. 我给你一个例子啊、哦，我我告诉你为什么之前。After the resurrection of Christ, for the next three hundred years, Christians were crucified. 耶稣从死里复活以后。三百年，许多基督徒都被钉死了。Many of them were crucified upside down. 还有一些是倒着被钉十字架的。They were covered with oil and bread and set on fire. 他们在身上倒满了油漆油，然后把他们点燃了，烧起来。History tells us that many of those Christians went to the cross singing joyfully. 教会历史告诉我们，很多这些基督徒，他们上十字架是欢欢喜喜的，唱着。So the followers of Jesus Christ go to the cross singing joyfully. So Jesus Christ's followers go to the cross singing joyfully. So Jesus Christ's followers go to the cross singing joyfully. So Jesus Christ's followers go to the cross singing joyfully. So Jesus Christ's followers go to the cross singing joyfully. So Jesus Christ's followers go to the cross singing joyfully. So Jesus Christ's followers go to the cross singing joyfully. So Jesus Christ's followers go to the cross singing joyfully. So Jesus Christ's followers go to the cross singing joyfully. So Jesus Christ's followers go to the cross singing joyfully. So Jesus Christ's followers go to the cross singing joyfully. So Jesus Christ's followers go to the cross singing joyfully. So Jesus Christ's followers go to the cross singing joyfully. So Jesus Christ's followers go to the cross singing joyfully. So Jesus Christ's followers go to the cross singing joyfully. So Jesus Christ's followers go to the cross singing joyfully. So Jesus Christ's followers go to the cross singing joyfully. So Jesus Christ's followers go to the cross singing joyfully. So Jesus Christ's followers go to the cross singing joyfully. So Jesus Christ's followers go to the cross singing joyfully. So Jesus Christ's followers go to the cross singing joyfully. So Jesus Christ's followers go to the cross singing joyfully. So Jesus Christ's
What was in the cup? 杯里头的是什么？ The book of Psalms, the prophet, Jer- the prophet Jeremiah tell us. 诗篇跟耶利米先知告诉我们 It was the wrath of God. 背里的是神的愤怒 The holy hatred of God against our evil. 神对我们罪恶的神圣的愤怒 Have you never read in Isaiah fifty-three ten? You, you, 难道没有读过以赛亚书第五十三篇第十节吗 It pleased the Lord to crush him. 神定义将他压伤，也可以翻译作神喜悦将他压伤。It pleased God to crush His only begotten Son under the full force of His wrath. 神喜悦将他所有的愤怒浇奠在他的爱子身上。What that means is not that it brought pleasure to God. This 意思不是说神很高兴，哈哈哈，不是。But that it fulfilled the purpose of God. 而是这成全了神的旨意。In order to satisfy justice, 为了满足神的公义的要求 ，someone had to pay the full penalty for the combined sins of God's people. 必须有人付清。神的百姓的所有罪恶的罪债的总和。On the cross, the the impeccable, sinless Son of God became sin. 在十字架上，那毫无瑕疵、无斑点的神的儿子为我们成为罪。Now what does that mean? 什么意思 ？Does it mean that when he was on the cross, he became corrupt? 是不是说耶稣在十字架上的时候，他的本性就就被玷污了呢？ No, he was always the sinless son of God. He became sin in the sense that he was sinless. He became sin in the sense that he was sinless. He became sin in the sense that he was sinless. He became sin in the sense that he was sinless. He became sin in the sense that he was sinless. He became sin in the sense that he was sinless. He became sin in the sense that he was sinless. He became sin in the sense that he was sinless. He became sin in the sense that he was sinless. He became sin in the sense that he was sinless. He became sin in the sense that he was sinless. He became sin in the sense that he was sinless. He became sin in the sense that he was sinless. He became sin in the sense that he was sinless. He became sin in the sense that he was sinless. He became sin in the sense that he was sinless. He became sin in the sense that he was sinless. He became sin in the sense that he was sinless. He became sin in the sense that he was sinless. He became sin in the sense that he was sinless. He became sin in the sense that he was sinless. He became sin in the sense that he was sinless. He became sin in the sense that he was sinless. He became sin in the sense that he was sinless. He became sin in the sense that he was sinless. He became sin in the sense that he was sinless. He became sin in the sense that he was sinless. He became sin in God declares them to be legally right with Him. 神宣布他从法律的角度被称义了。And then here's the important part. 好，这是重要的部分啊。And He treats them as legally right with Him. 神对待他，正如他是一个义人一样。He declares them perfectly righteous. 他宣布他完全是义的。And then, he, and then he treats them as though they were perfectly right. 而且他对待他们也像他们是完全是义的一样，义人一样。On the cross, 在十字架上 ，our sins were imputed to Christ. 我们的罪被算在基督的账上。And God declared him to be legally guilty of the sins of all His people. 神也宣布，从法律的角度，耶稣基督。担当他他百姓的罪，因此就有罪。And then God treated him as guilty. 神对待基督，仿佛他是有罪的。He forsook him. 他抛弃他。He turned his face away from him. 他掩面不看他。And all the wrath of God that should fall upon the people of God throughout all eternity fell upon Christ. 神一切的愤怒应该落在神百姓。永远落在神百姓身上的愤怒，如今落在基督的身上。And when he died, he said, "It is finished." 当他死的时刻，他呼叫，成了。Paid in full. 完全偿清了。People think today that there's no power in the gospel. 今天有人以为这这福音有什么能力呢？ That's why you have all these pastors turning the church into a circus in order to draw people in. So, you have so many pastors turning the church into a circus in order to draw people in. There is power in the gospel. Most people aren't preaching it. Most people aren't preaching it. Because they don't even know it themselves. Because they don't even know it themselves. He died. He died. Having fulfilled, having paid for all our crimes, 为我们的罪孽还清了罪债。In Galatians chapter three, 加拉太书第三章 
It says, Cursed is every man who does not abide by all the things written in the book of the law. So, 凡是不遵行律法上一切所教训的去行的，就是被咒诅的。Do you know what it means to be a curse? You know, 被咒诅是什么意思啊 ？It's very hard to define in the scriptures. 在圣经里头很难形容，很难定义。It means to be an abomination before God. 意思是在神面前是好可怕，被咒诅的，可憎恶的。When a creature is accursed of God, 当一个被造物、被造的人被神咒诅了。I think can be. I think it can be illustrated this way. 我可以这样子解释说明啊。The last thing that that creature will hear. 这个被造者最后要听见的是。When he takes his first step into hell. 当他第一步要踏入地狱的时候。Is all of creation applauding God? 所有的所造之物都会向神鼓掌欢呼。Because God has rid the earth of that person. 因为神把那个可咒诅的人给除掉了。Galatians chapter three verse thirteen. 加拉太书三章十三节 Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law. 基督把我们从咒诅中救赎出来 He was made a curse for us. 他为我们成为咒诅 He died bearing the curse. 他死是为我们担当我们当受的咒诅 And with his death, 借着他的死 he satisfied God's justice. 他满足了。神的公义的要求。He appeased God's wrath. 他平息了神的愤怒。And now, 现在 ，God can be just. 神可以公义。And at the same time, justify wicked men. 同时，称纳有罪的人为义。The problem is solved. 我们的问题解决了。How can God be just? 神如如何能够同时是又是公义的？ And yet justify the wicked. 同时又称罪人为义呢 ？He can do it because he crushed his own son. 他可以这样做，因为他压伤了自己的儿子。To pay for the sins of the wicked. 好，为那些有罪的人做赎赎罪祭。Now, just quickly, let's look at the last part of our text. 我们再看我们最后一部分，我们的经节。In verse twenty-five, Romans three twenty-five. 罗马书第三章二十五节。It says, verse twenty-five, whom God displayed publicly as a propitiation in His blood through faith. 神设立耶稣做挽回祭，是凭着耶稣的血，借着人的信。This was to demonstrate His righteousness. 要显明神的义。Because in the forbearance of God, he passed over the sins previously committed. Christ was crucified on a tree. To reveal something. To demonstrate or prove something. What was it proving? That God is really righteous. You say, well, why was it necessary to prove that? Why do we need to prove that God is righteous? Who would doubt God's righteousness? 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 Yes, I know he died spiritually. I know he died later. I know he died later. But mercy was shown. In Genesis 3:15, even the Messiah was promised. In Genesis 3:15, even the Messiah was promised. In Genesis 3:15, even the Messiah was promised. In Genesis 3:15, Now I'm going to kind of be dramatic here. 我现在会好像演戏一样。The point is to illustrate. 我我我的目的是要证明说明。We almost know nothing about Satan's fall. 我们几乎不明白撒旦的堕落。We don't even know as much as we think we know. 我们懂得太少了，我们以为懂很很多懂很多。But he apparently rebelled against God. 但是很明显的，撒旦反叛了上帝。And there was justice. 所以神对他彰显公义。Justice with no remedy. 而且无可救药，撒旦无可救药。
Satan and the angels fell, and God gave them no hope of salvation. Satan 跟随从他的天使都一同堕落，神给给他们没有救赎的机会。It was perfect justice. 这是神完全的公义。Guys, that, that ought to tell you something. 这应该教你一些事情。If God did not have to save the angels who fell, 如果神没有必要拯救那些堕落的天使。He did not have to save man. He did not have to save you. 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 He did not have And there's mercy. That 神竟然彰显他的怜悯 forbearance, 他的宽容 God doesn't deal with his sin immediately. 神不立刻审判亚当 but gives him the promise of salvation. 但是给了他救赎的应许 Can you imagine the devil? 你可以可以想象撒旦站在一边 God, 上帝啊 and your justice. Shall not the judge of all the earth do right? 审判全地的主岂不伸张公义吗 ？What's happened here? 你干了什么事儿？你干了什么事儿呢 ？Then the flood of Noah. 你看看，呃，挪亚的洪水。God kills the entire world. 神把整个世界都毁掉了，淹没了。Here's the problem. 这这这是问题啊。Noah should have died. 嗯，挪亚应该也死掉啊。Along with all his sons. 跟他说，三个儿子也该死啊。So God, what's the deal here? This 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 怎么回事儿啊 ？You playing favorites? 你你这里偏心了。What about justice? 你的公义何在 ？Oh, in Israel? 还有以色列 ？You patiently bore with Israel? 你你这么忍耐宽容以色列那么长你长久 ？Idolaters. 这些人拜偶像的。They were worse than the pagans. 他们比那外邦人更糟糕。Oh, in David? 你看大卫。A man after your own heart. You 合你心意的人。He was a murderer. 他杀人，还奸淫呢。Where's your, where's your justice, God? 你的公义何在 ？Two thousand years ago, God answered the question. 两千年前，神回答了这个问题。Says you want to know how I could spare Abraham and call him my friend? 你知道我怎么能够？宽容亚伯拉罕，称他为我的朋友呢 ？Do you want to know further back how I could save Noah from the flood? 你要知道我怎么能够拯救挪亚，不不用洪水把他也淹没呢 ？Do you want to know how I could save a remnant even from Israel? 你你要我你要知道为什么从以色列当中能够拯救一群渔民呢 ？Do you want to know how I could call David my son? 你你要知道为什么我可以称大卫为我的儿子呢 ？Because my son just died for them all. 因为我的儿子为他们而死。That's how. This is what. So he stopped all the accusations once and for all. My forbearance in the past. Okay. So he stopped all the accusations once and for all. My forbearance in the past. Okay. So he stopped all the accusations once and for all. My forbearance in the past. Okay. So he stopped all the accusations once and for all. My forbearance in the past. Okay. So he stopped all the accusations once and for all. My forbearance in the past. Okay. So he stopped all the accusations once and for all. My forbearance in the past. Okay. So he stopped all the accusations once and for all. My forbearance in the past. Okay. So he stopped all the accusations Do you want to know how much God loves wicked men? You want to know how much God loves wicked men? He sent his own son to be crushed. 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 He sent his own
I have spent an entire entire day telling you about the sins of men. 我整天都在告诉你人的罪孽深重。The righteousness of God. 神的公义圣洁。And now what God has done on your behalf through His Son. 现在神如何借着他的儿子为你成全的救赎。He died for the sins of the wicked. 他为罪人的罪而死。And on the third day, he rose again from the dead. 第三天，他从死里复活了。Whether you like it or not, 你喜欢也好，不喜欢也好。That resurrection is the only sign you're ever going to receive. 那复活是他要给你的唯一的明证。Two things were demonstrated. 两件事情借着他复活显明了。Jesus was declared with power to be the Son of God. 第一，耶稣。借着他复活的大能，显明他是神的儿子。And the resurrection was also proof that God accepted His sacrifice for our sins as payment. 他的复活也显明了父神接纳了基督的受死，作为我们的赎价，他满意了。And now God calls all men everywhere to repent and believe the gospel. 现在父神吩咐所有的人都要悔改。相信他的福音。Most preachers would now tell you this. 大多数的传道人会告诉你，现在。They would have you bow your head. 大家到低头。Close your eyes. 闭上眼睛。And ask you who wants to receive Jesus. 谁愿意接待耶稣基督？举手。And if you raise your hand, they'd ask you to pray a prayer. 如果你举个手，他们会叫你跟着他祷告。And if you repeated that prayer, they would tell you you're saved. 如果你跟着他重复这个祷告，他会告诉你你得救啦。I won't tell you any of that. 我不会告诉你任何这样的。It's not in the New Testament. 因为在新约圣经里没有这样的教导。And it's not in church history. 也不在教会历史里也没有。I will tell you what Jesus told them. 我会告诉你耶稣告诉他们的话。I will tell you what Peter told them. 我会告诉你们彼彼得所说的话。Repent of your sins and believe in Jesus Christ. 悔改，从你的罪中悔改，相信耶稣基督。What does it mean to repent? 悔改什么意思？ The word means literally to change your mind. 悔改的意思就是改变心意，回心转意。You say, well, that's kind of superficial. 嗯，这是很肤浅吗 ？That's only because we have a superficial definition of the mind. 因为我们对这个人心啊，回心转意，这个心对它有一个很肤浅的定义。To change your mind. 回心啊，改变心意什么意思 ？Means everything that you believed was true, you now recognize as wrong. 意思是你从前认为以前认为是真的最对的事，你现在认识到是错的，是是,是假的。And you turn to Christ. 你回转转向基督。Let me give you an example. 我给你一个例子啊。Paul, Paul the Apostle. 呃，保罗使徒啊。He's on the road to Damascus. 他在去大马色的路上。He believes Jesus is a false prophet. 他相信基督是一个，耶稣是一个假先知。And a blasphemer. 是一个亵渎神的。He believes all Christians should be thrown in jail or killed. 他相所有相信基督的基督徒应该被丢到监狱或者被杀掉。That they are enemies of the people of God. 他们是神的百姓的仇敌。On the road to Damascus, he meets the risen Christ. 但是在大马色路上，他遇到复活的基督。Do you know what happened? 你知道发生什么事吗？ He changed his mind. His heart was changed. He repented. He repented. Do you realize that Paul at that moment realized everything he thought was true, he knew now was wrong. You know, at that moment, he suddenly realized that what he thought was right was wrong. And everything that he thought was wrong, he now realized was true. What he thought was wrong, he now realized was true. What he thought was wrong, he now realized was true. What he thought was wrong, he now realized was true. He thought Jesus was a false prophet. He thought Jesus was a false prophet. He now realizes he's the Messiah and the Son of God. Now he realizes that he's the Messiah, he's the Son of God. He thought Christians were worthy of death and imprisonment. He thought Christians were worthy of death and imprisonment. He thought Christians were worthy of death and imprisonment. He thought Christians were worthy of death and imprisonment. He thought Christians were worthy of death and imprisonment. He thought Christians were worthy of death and imprisonment. He thought Christians were worthy of death and imprisonment. He thought Christians were worthy of death and imprisonment. He thought Christians were worthy of death and imprisonment. He thought Christians were worthy of death and imprisonment. He thought Christians were worthy of death and imprisonment. He thought Christians were worthy of death and imprisonment. He thought Christians were worthy of death and imprisonment. He thought Christians were worthy of death and imprisonment. He thought Christians were worthy of death and imprisonment. He thought Christians were worthy of death and imprisonment. He thought Christians were worthy of death and imprisonment. He thought Christians were worthy of death and imprisonment. He thought Christians were worthy of death and imprisonment. He thought Christians were worthy of death and imprisonment. He thought Christians You're referring to the control center of your will. 你在讲控制你整个意志 Your emotions. 你的感情 Every your intellect. 你的思想的中心 So to, to change your mind about something. 所以你回心转意，改变心意的意思 Is the change in the very core of everything you are. 就是。你从核心、从内心深处，把一切的认识都翻天覆地的改变了。It will change everything. 会改变你的一切所有。Repentance is also accompanied by brokenness. 悔改
同时也伴随着破碎。Maybe tonight you recognize God's not anything like what I thought. 今天也许你认识到，这跟我从前认识的上帝不一样啊！神不是这我从前的认识。And I have sinned against Him so terribly. 哇，我的确大大的得罪他了。And I have ignored his son. 我我忽略了他的儿儿子。And I am a sinner. 我是个罪人。That will break your heart. 那应该叫你的心破碎。Let me ask you here tonight. 我问你今晚。Maybe you came here just because somebody invited you. 也许你今天在这里，因为有人邀请你来拉你来。But have you repented now? 但是你悔改了没有 ？You say, well, I don't know. 我还不知道。Well, then let's let's do a few exploratory questions. 好，我们再探探索几个问题啊。Do you see God in a new way? 你是不是从一个新的角度认识神 ？A biblical way? 从圣经的角度认识他。And do you desire Him? 你是不是心里头渴慕他 ？Do you long for a relationship with Him? 你愿意跟他建立一个关系 ？Do you see yourself? 你是不是看你自己 ？The sins that you've committed? 你你你犯过的罪。Does it break your heart? 是不是叫你心碎 ？Does it cause you even to hate yourself? 是不是叫你自己甚至痛恶你自己？ That's the first fruits of repentance. 这是悔改的第一个果子。Now believe in Christ. 现在要信靠基督。Throw yourself upon Christ. 整个人投入基督，信靠他，信赖他。And what he has done for you. 相信他为你所成就的。That when he died on that tree, he died for you. 当他死在十字架上，他是为你而死。And when he died on that tree, it paid for every one of your crimes. 当他死在十字架上，为你还清了你所有的罪债。And the evidence that you have truly been saved, 你真正得救的明证证据是 will not be that you raised your hand, 不是你举了个手 or you prayed some prayer, 或者你做个绝志祷告 or repeated a prayer, 或者重复人家叫你祷告 The evidence that you have been saved, 你真正得救的证据是 is that you will begin to walk in a new way. 你会开始一个新的道路生命 Because if you have believed, 因为如果你真相信了 ，you have been born again， 你重生了 ，and you've become a new creature， 你成为基督新造的人了 ，with new affections， 你会有新的情感 ，that will drive you to greater and greater godliness。这个情感会催逼你越来越效法基督，越来越敬虔。America has invented the idea of the carnal Christian。美国发明了这个所谓的属肉体的基督徒的概念。Because it's the only way to explain why so many people who call themselves Christians are just as wicked as the world. They call themselves Christians. But they live in sin just like the world. They are not carnal Christians. They are lost men. Who identify themselves with the church. 他们说自己是基督徒，在教会里有份。Do Christians sin? 基督徒犯罪吗 ？Yes. 当然。Do they struggle against sin? 我们在罪恶中有挣扎吗 ？Yes. 是的，是的。Can a Christian even fall? 基督徒会跌倒吗 ？Yes. 也可能。Can he stay there and live a continuous life of carnality? 但是基督徒能够继续陷在罪中，继续在肉体中生活下去吗 ？Absolutely not. 绝对不能。He's a new creature. Because he's a new father. And he has a new father. He has a new father. And the father will discipline him. His father will discipline him. And bring him to Christ. 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 And bring him to Hebrews 12 tells us he's not a child of God. 希伯来书第十二章就说他不是神的儿女，他是私生子。But here's what we're going to do. Now we're going to do. I'm going to dismiss you. I'm going to call you to repent. If you are concerned about salvation, 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 if you are Then after we're dismissed, 等一下我们散会之后 ，I'm going to go back there in that room with the pastor. 我们会到后面那个房间去。We will stay here until eight o'clock tomorrow morning if necessary. 如果有必要的话，明天早上我们留到明天早上八点钟。Each one of you is important. 每一个人都很重要。We will talk to you about Christ. 
我们要跟你传讲基督。We will pray with you. 我们要跟你一起祷告。Until God tells you you are saved. 直到神告诉你你得救了。Not us. 不是我们告诉你。It is a very sad thing to be a preacher. 做传道人很叫人伤心的。Because it's one job that you're always going to fail at. 因为这是你总是会失败、做做不好的工作。There's no way I can describe to you how great God is. 我无法形容，成功的形容神是何等的伟大。Or what Christ has done for you. 耶稣基督为你所成的救赎，我讲不清楚。But if you're, if you say you don't know if you're saved or not. 但是如果你说我我没有把握到底我得救没有。We'll try to counsel you as best we can. 我们会尽力的辅导你，帮助你。And you can be saved. 你可以得救。And you can know it. 你可以有确据，知道有把握。But it won't come from us. 但是不是我告诉你，而是圣灵告诉你有这个把握，有这个确据。Let's pray. 我们祷告。Father, I pray that you would use this to bless your people. 天父，我们求你借着这个来祝福你的百姓。And that. People would be trusting in Christ tonight. 愿人都信靠基督 ，and truly converted， 真正的重生 ，and go on with you walking and growing in sanctification. 继续与你同行，在圣洁中继续的成圣。In Jesus' name. 奉耶稣基督的名。Amen. Amen. 请不吝点赞、订阅、分享。